Are you ready? This week on What's in My Pocket with <laughs> Told you I won't be able to keep a straight face. This week we are going to put together some planters for the front lawn, for the patio, for your porch. Um, and there's three major components that go into making the perfect planter. And the first component is your thriller. This is your tall, eye-catching plant. It usually adds some height to your container. The next thing is the filler. The filler is what goes around the thriller. So right here we have some ice cream cherry colored celosia. And then the next thing and the last thing that you'll add to your planter is the spiller. So we have the thriller, the filler, and then the spiller. The spiller, we're gonna be using sweet potato vine. It's right here in the front. Um, and that just adds a natural component to your planter. It spills over, hence spiller, and adds some depth and some length. And you know, we have these really tall planters. It'll make them look less rigid and more natural. So the first thing that we need to do is add the thriller to the middle of our planter. So I'm just going to make a little indentation here. We'll use the rest of the soil to fill in around the other plants. So I'm using a spike plant for my thriller. Just put it here in the center. Sorry, it's really buggy out here. I have mosquitoes on my face. Get that centered. It doesn't help that I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> Next step, we're gonna add our celosia, and I'm just gonna plop it in my other thing here so I can work on digging my celosia out. Now, because I am a perfectionist, I like to kind of place where I'm gonna put my plants before I actually dig the indentation and add them in. So the celosia, I wanna make sure I, I add it so that it can grow with enough space, but I also wanna make sure I have enough space for my potato vine. So I'm gonna start with just three of these. I can fill in more if I need. <clears throat> so dig an indentation, <laughs> lose half my dirt. Your filler, you want to be a bright, bold color. So that's important, especially if you have a really simple planter like I do. And if you are going to be putting this in your front lawn on your patio, your porch, where there are other plants, it's important to keep consistent in your colors. So I have hydrangea plants out front. They are all pink and white. Um, so I wanted to add some additional pink color that'll sit on the giant slabs of my front porch. So we get those in there. Next up is our sweet potato vine. And that needs quite a bit of room. So I'm gonna move the dirt around. I feel like I'm manhandling these. We'll just add this guy right here in the front. And we're gonna add some additional dirt around. As you can see, I have a very high-tech dirt vehicle. So I have some more room so I can continue to put the celosia. So you don't want it to look sparse. You don't want it to be too cramped, so it's kind of like a perfect balance. But it'll grow out, it'll fill out and fill in as the summer goes. So don't be shy. I'm gonna use my hand to add some more dirt around these guys. Add 
adding dirt to the table. Sometimes it's just easier to use your hands. There's all these fancy tools. And I always end up either using one singular knife in the kitchen or my hands in the garden. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Small town. All right, there you have it. Your thriller, your filler, and your spiller. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now you can find your husband, boyfriend, strong girlfriend, grandma, somebody that's stronger than you to carry it out front and put it in its final spot. And that's it.